I finally unlocked all the weapons in the new Warbond. Did I buy the Warbond with real money? Yes. It's because I'm an impulsive buyer and I buy everything that I see. And yes, I'm talking about the Superstore. Was the Warbond worth my money? Absolutely not. But that's a video for another day. Today, we're going to talk about the... Crossbow, crossbow, crossbow. Uh, what was it epic? What, 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 what was it epic? <sighs> Man, I'm cringe. The CB9 exploding crossbow is the last weapon that you can get from the premium war bond. And I gotta say that I was very excited when I found out that this weapon was gonna be an addition to the game. I thought to myself, hey, a weapon that is not a gun. Something that doesn't shoot lasers or doesn't shoot bullets. I was kind of excited. I was so ready to live my dream. To emulate Daryl Dixon. Be the crossbow guy. Well, it did kind of come true. Because, you know, just like Daryl, after a while of using the crossbow, you won't be able to speak. You'll just be capable of grunts. What? Okay, that was a bad example, but you get the point. Man, I am lost. What were we talking about again? Oh yeah, the crossbow. The crossbow has only one fire mode. It is semi. It has a maximum of five per reload. I don't know why it has six right now. It also happened with the previous, with the other guns. Every time I drop in, I could only assume it's a bug, but can't know for sure. It has 12 reserves, so you can reload 12 times before having to look for ammo or resupply. It has a trait of being an explosive weapon, so every time you shoot, it has an AoE. The AoE is pretty large too, so keep that in mind when you're shooting this weapon. Aside from the crossbow being an explosive weapon, it also has very high damage, whopping 420 per bolt. Which is kind of confusing if you ask me, since the Eruptor has like only 380, but it for some reason it does more damage, which I will show you in a bit. Also, I made an Eruptor video. Shameless plug, Lamau. This is like Attack on Titan. Oh sh! Oh oh no! Using this against the automatons, it was. Uh, I, I I don't know how to describe it. Like it was it was such an uphill battle every time I fight every unit. Well, of course, except for the small ones. But then again, they have the jumpy rocket guys that goes to you, and most of the time, your explosive area damage is just so large that you get downed, and then these Jason Voorhees looking bots, they just get in there. It has a hard time competing with other weapons if we're talking about competing with other weapons. Like, its ammo capacity is just not good enough to take down mediums. The only medium that it can take down easily is the Striders. Just because of its explosive trait being so large, it is really effective against them. When you're dealing against tanks, hulks, or other heavies alike, just forget it. Just stick to your heavy assets. It doesn't do anything. It has light armor penetration. Sure, you can shoot their vents or reactors from behind, but then again, doing that requires so much work that it's just not worth dying for. It can't close fabricators like the Eruptor can, even though they share the same trait of being an explosive weapon. I do wish that they at least, they could have at least given this weapon the ability to do that. But, unfortunately, no. You're probably thinking, Hey, all I've heard about this weapon is bad things. Actually, yes, it's all bad. No, I'm kidding. Okay, so, this weapon actually has really good crowd control. Every shot has really wide range, even though it is a uh, double-edged sword, in terms of you can knock down yourself, you can knock down your, your allies, but it does have a very large area that one shot is all it needs for a clump to go down. All in all, I think it's still pretty decent. It's not the best there is, 
but then again if you're like trying to make some builds around it maybe you can make it work personally i can't see myself using this at the current moment but maybe in the future maybe they add something to it i don't know i don't know against the terminids i can't say that this weapon is actually any good mediums just take too much time to kill you need at least four four shots to take one down you could argue that it's good for crowd control against the smaller units but then again there's just so many hunters jumping at you that by the time that you get a shot off they're already up there and just doing their thing similar to the automaton side it also can't close bug holes so don't bother trying to close it using this weapon again i could think of some builds that you could make it work probably like the rover or something to deal with the smaller chaff but i can't see myself using this against them after testing this weapon trying it out on both factions i gotta say that i am disappointed and kind of underwhelmed i was really excited to have a crossbow as a weapon and i don't know man it it, it just it just doesn't feel right it it, it doesn't feel like I'm powerful when I'm using this weapon. I am a bit confused as to what this weapon is supposed to be. It's not effective at long range because it is as a crossbow, it has massive drop off. Aiming it does require a bit of practice. And if you get there, maybe you could make it work and medium, medium range, maybe, but just the slightest, slightest distance. With it having so much explosive area damage, it knocks you back. Well, in this case, knocks you front. I don't know. I don't know what's happening right now. But every time I get an explosive uh, payload weapon, it knocks me forward. And of course, all of these are just my own opinion. Um, just take my words with a grain of salt. You can test it out for yourself if you're not convinced. But these are just the information that I've got and I think that is worth sharing to you guys. Uh, if you think that there are builds or there are ways that you can make this weapon effective, please let me know. I am so sorry for yapping and wasting your time. Anywho, if you found this video at least, at the very least, entertaining and helpful, please leave a like and subscribe. It helps me a lot and I do love interacting with you guys sharing your thoughts because i don't know i just love knowing what other how other people think with that said i take my leave go back to spreading freedom helldiver <laughs>